Uh, good morning, Dave Hunter and today we're going to talk about tuning sound posts. So this is um, number 10 violin from a long time ago, and I measured the uh, frequency of the sound post and wrote it down on this chart. And basically, all you do is take your violin with the sound post, of course, installed, and I use a uh, just a piece of six inch long quarter inch sound post stock and you just tap right down on top of where the end of the sound post touches. You can either do it on the front or the back, either one should be the same result. And then compare that to a sound tap reference and we'd like it to be 176, same as the top plate. So, and I verified that when you take the sound post out and according to when I tapped on the uh, violin, it was 172. And there's two ways to do it. You have your sound reference tool. You can find that under useful tools and tap tone technology. Make your own. And there's even the calibration uh, file so you can get all the frequencies right. So you just tap down on the end. That's the frequency we want to be 176. That sounds low. Low. No, oh, I'm sorry, we want it to be 198, same as the back, but uh, you can measure the frequency anyway. So here we are. Low, high. And you get to 172. And you'd also just tap it down on top of the wood reference uh, tool. Notice how I'm just dropping it, catching it, drop. Catch, drop, catch, drop, catch, bounces up. You hear the sounds to go up, that sounds to go down, so we know it's 172. Okay, so next thing to do is you tap along, just hold it loosely in the end of your fingers. Right here, there's a little high spot, the tone's higher. So what I want to do is sand that evenly all the way around, a little off each side, and we want to bring it down so uh, it's an even tap all along the whole surface. Do any high spots anywhere? Can't check it. This is just some number 100 uh, wood sandpaper. Okay, so that's even. So what we're going to do is too low. So we're going to make a little hourglass shape, a little dished in the middle, evenly. So it just dished down and up. If it was too high, we'd make it uh, tapered on both ends. So we want to uh, just use a, what is that about, a three-quarter inch wood dowel with sandpaper glued around it, kind of a barbershop fashion. So I'm just going to sand in the middle like that and work toward the end. I'm not, you don't want to touch the ends. But most the wood off the middle here and taper up, taper up, taper up and turn around and do the same thing and that will put a double sanding in the middle and give the hourglass shape. Okay. And sand in the middle and taper up as we go, taper, taper, taper. And I like to do a sound post so it's got a, uh, I just put a line on the side that's toward the side of the violin and um, I put an arrow so you can tell which way is up so you can look in and see if it's sound post is turned and if it's the right orientation when you take it out you don't try to put it in upside down I'll see how we are about 183 got to 198 is the actual frequency you want which is the same as the back frequency Turn it around. Looks like we're getting close. Looks like it's in the low 190 range.
about 193, so we get just a little more to go. And let's see if it's even all the way along the top. And like right in here, it's, it's about uh, a little bit high. So I'm just going to sand just that area, turn it around until it's even again. And I'll check the frequency. So I go below 198, it sounds low. Above 998, it sounds high. Check it this way. Okay, so we're at 198, and that's all there is to it. I might uh, remark my line here on the side. And that's it. Just reinstall it, and uh, then it'll be the same frequency as the back, and it'll uh, make a more even sound, more elegant sound. And um, doesn't take very long. Looks like it takes about seven minutes. Okay, that's it.